Evening. How's it going? Let me just uh, get my screen up. Oh, and also stop that because otherwise I'm going to give myself all night. Just have a refund. Okay. Odd little game is. It's all right though. All right, let's get myself comfy. Right, what are we going to play? That's the question. Phone going. Cool. How is everyone anyway? Right. And we're all good, hopefully. Well, seeing as this is here, the credit on this. Define uh, knob buttons. Okay. Don't expect that. Buy player one, player two, coin. Cool. Don't want to change that. Buy fly, player two, coin, pause. Hey, how's it going, Dean? All right. How's life? Hope you had a good week. Um, let's do that. Well, I'm here. Oh, yeah, I've got sound. Happy days. Odd little game, this is. Oh, I forgot the skulls. Right, okay. But I love you at the bottom. Remember, you've got to avoid, avoid the skulls. Sneaky, yeah, he's dropping the skulls in it. Yeah, they've dropped um, some new games on you at the moment. They're not quite finished. The um, Maho games, uh, the, the sound is a little bit too fast at the moment. But he, he's aware of that and he's going to be fixing it when he gets five. And there's a, a problem with Gregor at the moment with certain RAM modules with the sound of it. Um, the, the game is uh, loading up to a bad ROM, but the guy's aware of it, trying to fix it. Dead. Oh well, that was fun. Right, okay. Um, shooter vertical? What do we got in here? Let's have a look. The, oh, they haven't put the new cores in here. The only slight problem with the... Um, the arranged stuff is it sometimes takes a little while for it to uh, be sorted out, which makes sense. Is it? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, it sounds a bit of a nightmare. You're always busy with work. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm all good. Right, so I've got a sorcerer striker. Or Mahu Daisakasan. Oh, I know it's happening. Um, he wasn't planning on doing these either. He just managed to do a bit change, and apparently these um, the Mario games just literally worked. Um, the sound is a little bit too fast on him at the moment, though, but he is aware of it, and he has got a fix for it, but he hasn't put it out yet. Hey, John Zini, how's it going? Yeah, he hasn't put the fix out yet, but he's um, my mate. I. Gregor works on mine, but doesn't boot to my mates. So I, I've messaged him, and a few people have done the same thing. And it, it looks like a few calls have had problems with different RAM modules before. He's put a fix out for it, but um, I obviously can't test the fix because it, it works fine for mine. So i got to wait for my mate now tomorrow to, for him to test it. So the sound is a little bit low on these. 
don't think there's any core options. FX volume high. You'll notice the music's a bit too fast. FX volume, actually I'm going to put it on super high because Actually, I haven't even done my buttons. Um, on formation, coin start. Reset that. Yeah, he put, it wasn't. I've I, I've posted it in the in the channel. Um, just needs to be tested by someone who it doesn't work on. He thinks it's basically um, with the with the RAM. It's actually he says it's cause access to RAM really fast, and he thinks it's a timing issue. Nice of him to actually you know spend the time working on it on the weekend. I say you know just the the sound is a little bit uh, too fast, but he is aware of it. He will fix it. I find it plays really nice. It plays really fast. I don't mean like really fast and too fast, but it plays nice and smooth and really, um, really responsive. Your sound effects are a little bit low as well. I thought the sound effects were missing actually, but they are just low. But like I said, it's it's not a uh, it's still a beta at the moment, essentially. But it runs damn good. I like this game as well. It's really really nice. I want to blow that turret up if I can help it. I'll have a look at the chat in a minute. I'm sure there is a pause button, but I can't do it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Really popular this game is in Japan. I gotta admit I'm a bit of a fan of the Mahu game, so I really like them. They are um, more in the basic style of shooter compared to what uh, Reason had done. Like, but um, it's, you know that's not an issue. That's not a bad thing in some ways. <laughs> to sing. Sometimes I can catch you. Yeah, they didn't do a physical release, which is a little bit of a shame. Oh, I went too far, far forward. Yeah, he needs to turn those sound effects up a bit. They're a little bit too low. They are there. I thought they weren't there initially, but uh, they are there. They're just low. Oh. 
It's a little bit of a shame because you can normally hear him make like a scream noise. Actually, I'm going to put the fire on as well. Yeah, it is a cool game. Um, it did get a port to the uh, the shop, but it's, it's shit, basically. It's not a very good port at all. I don't... I'm, I think it got a, a town's port as well, which I believe is better. But I could have just made that up. Who knows? Didn't write in, didn't do like a satin port or something. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna fire about yeah. The um, M2 port is really nice, isn't it? This it's really good. Actually, I think the M2 port has got the music off the FM Towns version, haven't it? So yes, it did get an FM Towns uh, version. Damn, I missed the power up. I love Dima Who as well. Third game. As you see me play, I got a bit. The music is not like super fast, is it? It's just a little bit too fast. And he's going to do a fix of this pretty soon. Oops, that was a bad idea going for there, really. Should have bombed. Okay. That was fun. I'll go with Gang Knight quite like on you. He's good as well, mind. Go on him. Yeah, the, the third game, the scoring is mental, basically. You got that um you got that red and blue technique where basically if you shoot in opposite colours, um they take ha it take double the firepower. If you shoot the same colour, uh, they take half the firepower to kill. And then you've got um the whole shopping list type thing where you've got to get items. So it is literally a shopping list shooter, which is really weird. But Demo who I really like that game, I think it's really good. Also very tricky. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the scoring is in this. I, I, I don't know if there is a mechanic. I'm not sure. And then you've got the second one. Um, Kingdom Grand Prix Avenue. But it's basically, it's got the racing mechanic, which is very unusual for a shmup. You, you don't have to play it with the racing mechanic, essentially. You can slow down a bit and make the game a bit easier for yourself. It's almost like that racing mechanic is um, is like a rank in some ways. But we'll have a go with that as well. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not sure how the scoring works in this. I think. Overall, Rising were crazy with their scoring, weren't they? They they put really madly complicated systems into their games, which you it was quite good the way they did it. You didn't actually have have to play it like that. It was just if you wanted to do big high scores, it give you it give you an, almost another depth to the games, didn't they? Basically, especially with um, Battle Gregor. They've got a whole new depth and a completely different way of playing it, essentially, if you're playing for score. I'm going to go for this one first, I think. And again, that's probably a bad idea. 
Ah, damn. Caught me. Ah, it's powered right down now as well. I say this runs really nice and plays really nice. It just needs um, it just needs the sound a little bit sorted out, and I think we're pretty much there. He wanted to get all the uh, rising games out. But that thing's gonna. Ah. I'm gonna start that again, actually. Bum, bum, bum. I'd rather play the Japanese one. I don't know why. It just seems more appropriate for some reason. I like the artwork in this game as well. Some of the bosses are really great later on. Can't remember which is the best firing for this character. I think it's the red firing. The coins are basically your power-ups. Then you got the magic power-ups then for your um, weapons. Side weapons, essentially. The bombs. Yeah, if you shoot the one turret, uh, it's easier to kill this. Because the, 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 basically the towers at the front won't open up straight away. It is 93 this was it. Yeah I think this was quite an early game one in the, in the library. I say before Shmups went out of uh, flavour they managed to do you know, two sequels as well. I gotta admit, like Toplan as well, Rising were definitely on the game when it came to making shoot ups. They chucked out some uh, pretty damn good games. going to be nasty and so with the one side see Ooh. thought I was going to get trapped there and die Yeah, Ryzen did some cracking games, didn't he? Yeah, he, I, I didn't think he was making that sound effect, but he is. It is. I think all he needs to do in this is basically just turn the sound effects up a bit. Come on. Oh god. Okay, he's being tricky. Must have triggered the rank up a bit. Gonna fire it again.
Got it. I don't know what what first game Ryzen actually made. I don't know what actually their first game was. It's mad that all these gaming companies like Topan, Ryzen, and things like that. A lot, you know, employees from all of them used to swap around, and they ended up in Cave and things like that. It was obviously like a small business community in Japan making shmups. Making arcade games essentially. Ah, the red weapon. That would be nice. I might try his green weapon. This weapon's actually quite handy for this stage. Oh, damn, I missed it again. Silly. Some more coins would be at the power up as well. Oh, apparently this the, uh, the, is cause as well. Um, of course, score saving. You've got a basically after you've uh, put a high score in, you've got to go back to the menu and click save before you cancel the game out, and it'll it'll save your high score. Apparently, God, I'm getting a bit trappy, aren't I? Okay, my weapons are not doing enough damage. Definitely not doing enough damage. Oh, I was going to say I was going to miss that then. Do, 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 do. My favourite character on yours, Gain, though. <laughs> oh, this was actually their first game, was it? Ah, that's cool. Nah, I go back to Gain, I think. That's interesting. The Mahu games were their first ones. Oh, no matter who games this one. Didn't know that. That's quite nice to know. Right, let's go to my favourite character. Game. He's fast. I've got a nice piercing shot. There's no one stronger than me. You playing that demon in front of Taldine? Have you had a chance to have a go of it? It's a lovely little game, I this demon in front. But rock hard. I'm gonna go for the green, I think. I'm playing on mine for a while. Most of the week I've been playing um, East um, Ofen Falgana, the remake of the third game. I literally finished it about 7 o'clock. So that's another East game down. It's getting smaller and smaller now, the amount I actually want to finish.
when I uh, went to Japan, I seen this game everywhere. It's still really popular. Not so much sequels, though. Generally, this one. In most arcades, there was a copy of this somewhere. I've seen quite a lot of people playing it as well. I was watching one guy uh, practicing the ninja. He got to the ninja and he was literally just not firing at it, just dodging it. However, these do play um, better than uh, Emulation. Unfortunately, Emulation does tend to be a little bit laggy on the reason in the uh, Rising games for some reason. God, I was in a bad place then. Piercing swords are pretty damn good. Yeah, that was cool. I was in there. They added them to other games as secret ships and stuff. That's what's cool about the Rising stuff, didn't they? They did uh, add their characters into other games as secret players. I quite like the way they did that. In a lot of their games, you had all the secret uh, ships. Has an extra little depth to it, don't you? You know what I mean? Right, okay. Because I can't hear the sound effect very well. I've got to look out for his mouth stopping. Cool. All ah, right, they st stole some from off, is it? Oh god, that's not good. Like all my mates on a stag do tonight, I was supposed to be going, and um, I have been there off. Unfortunately, I didn't really want to, but I think going to Cardiff and you're going to be ended up in clubs where there's like hundreds of people in here rammed. I, I don't think it's a good idea. Unfortunately. I have had pictures though, he is uh, dressed up as um, Snow White. And everyone else is dressed up as uh, the elves. Didn't really want to miss it to be honest, but I don't know, because I live with my mother and I like, and she's, she's getting close to like uh, 78 now, it's, it might not be a good idea. Last thing I want to do is get COVID and bring home. This is a bit of a shame, really, but. The gain is powerful. Yeah, so I missed it, so. I'm going to the wedding, though, that's in um, two weeks. Evo weekend basically. I'm gonna actually watch Evo this year. Can't watch it on the Saturday, but on the Sunday I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. I watched Evo for a couple of years because it's been off, and I, I gotta be honest, I usually quite enjoy it. And it's always incredibly hard to catch up on it. See, gain a full power just wrecks them. And Oh no! Now I was silly on it. We being greedy trying to kill it. <sighs> I 
Vamos aquí. I don't know what it is. This does seem a little bit harder than the M2 port. I'll have to check the dip switches. I get out there. Oh, I backed into it. I have to bomb it. I think he's gonna charge me. I've forgotten how to dodge them. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it does seem a bit harder. I, I've already had videos of um, them all drinking like a giant, I know, beer thing on a tap and all drinking out of it. So it's just like, uh, not good. It is on normal as well. It does seem harder though for some reason, I don't know why. Seems like I'm killing things a little bit easier on the M2 port. And the M2 port is set to normal as well. Tell you what then, let me... Um, the alternatives are on here as well. Let me find the alternative. The English versions are supposed to be easier, are they? Let me try the one I normally play. Um, it's called Mahu, isn't it? Mahu Dai Sakasan. Is there under Mahu then? Doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, actually, come to think of it, I don't think they are on you at the moment. I think he's only got the one ROM working. Forget that. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a feeling that's coming. To be honest. So I, I, I didn't want to tempt fate. Like I, I am going to end up going to Arcade Club and, and uh, play Expo, but at least at least there, I'm not in a ram pub. I can stay away from people, and I can wear a mask. But you go on the piss in Cardiff, that, that's like impossible, basically. And uh, Cardiff gets rammed. As probably most big town centres do. I didn't really want to miss his stag do though, to be honest, but... I did uh, fill him in on why I wasn't going to go, like... Yeah, I forgot on this, he's only got the uh, one ROM running at the moment. These were like bonuses, essentially. Yeah, I've talked to a couple of people in the week as well as that COVID. I was uh, video calling a lady in the week that literally I caught her just before she was uh, going to bed. She, she sounded rough as well, really rough. It was the first time she caught her as well, so uh, yeah, she didn't sound too good. I know inevitably I am going to catch it. We all are, but uh, I'm not going to try not to put myself in a situation where I am going to catch it. <laughs> I don't want it. So it doesn't sound great. Random where this where this thing flies off to. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe maybe you like it, maybe you can't catch it. Some people can't, can they? Some people just carry it essentially, they can't catch it. Pretty lucky. For you, not for everyone else, but for you. Yeah, if you if you were like that, that'd be pretty lucky. Game do business. Yeah, I know. I know a couple of people have got that long COVID as well. I know um, my mate's daughter. She's about twenty-one, I think she is. Um, she had uh, scarring on the lungs after. It. She's young as well, like. Is red firing's good as well, mind the home in firing? So there's gun turrets if I can help it. Bum, 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 bum. It's good to be here, you get loads of bloody uh, bombs. The bombs give me loads of them, so I thought I was going to die then. Yeah, 21 shoes. So she got like permanent lasting effects from it. I got asthma as well, like, which is uh, one of the reasons why I want to try and avoid you if I can. And I'm in that uh, over the mid 40s bracket as well. <laughs> Get an old bastard now, so it's like. Gotta look after myself. I like this level. I like the boss in this level, it's really good. 
like the water as well. And the green beholders. This weapon's really good for the beholders. I've never managed to one CC this. I've got to the ninja. Ninja's pretty tricky. Oh, I could have picked that bomb up pretty, couldn't I? Yeah, it's got some nice effects. The water effect is really nice in this level. Kicks in now, I think. After this mid boss, I think it's a mid boss on this one. Yeah, they do pull you off really nice, don't they? Right, I hate this because you got the buzz saws. Never quite know where these buzz saws are going. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Damn it. That was a bad bomb. Nope. Oh. Gonna be interested with these slime creatures now with not much uh, power ups. Gotta watch out things, they suck you in. Slimes, but that's gonna help. These things are weird the way they go in and out of the water. You gotta keep an eye for when they can pop out because that's when they shoot you. Some amount of firepower for this boss. Green, nice. I wanna. Oh, I could die. I'll teach you to be greedy. Actually, I'll put my name in and we'll try and save it and see what happens. I could auto fight, haven't I? If I go back and save, and then restart, will it keep my high score? We shall see. Let's go gain again. You picked up any of these, Dean, on um, arcade board? But they're not going to be cheap.
I remember what games you had there now, and I was um, confused. Got some nice games here, man. I got them made. The collection is uh, pretty top tier. Oh, um, I caught wind on Twitter as well. Uh, Fix eight. Um, what else is there? There's about another free games might be coming up on uh, Mr. Soon as well. And possibly um, tattoos you know as well. Pretty nice when they come out. I'm getting used to this music at speed now, <laughs> even though it is fast. Go for the blue firing if I get a chance. Whoever's got a lot colder as well, haven't they? It hasn't been that warm today. And that blast a nice weather, didn't he? And it's pretty much disappeared now. Should have gone for the other one. Oh, you got myself in trouble then. Eh? It is worth picking up the green on this level because you get loads of green power ups. Oh, you did too. Right, well, that's actually less than I thought it would be. God, I'm right in the middle of the flames. Not a good place to be. Yeah, I thought they'd be a bit more than that, to be honest. Yeah, Kingdom Grand Prix is nice as well. It's a bit of an odd idea for a shmup, isn't it? But um, when, I, when I first played on there, I played the Saturn port first, I think. Couldn't quite work out what the hell was going on. Love a go that next. At least want to get to level four on this. I need to play that um, X Zodiac as well. I bought it, but um, I haven't got around to giving it a proper go yet. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, what am I doing? I'll teach me for going forward then. Normally a red power up by here. This goes the best. Actually, instead of getting to it, start again a minute with um, go for green. Yeah, maybe. I didn't realise uh, that um, they were all on GPS hardware. That's mad. Not because the third one is, isn't it? I didn't realise the other two were. Or at least one of them was. I'll have one more go with this, and then we'll swap to Social Striker. I was like, I stuck playing this all night.
So if you any, any you guys get a chance, have a look at the um, M2 shot trigger sport of this. It's really nice. I still haven't bought the last two um, shot triggers games. I think I'll wait until they uh, come on offer or something and then pick them up. Okay, I'm playing terrible. Well, we're going to carry on now. We should end up getting full power actually by the time I get to the boss. Nope. Let's restart that. Yeah, that's a damn good game as well. Right. Yeah, the last one is uh, CPS2, isn't it? Ah, so I got the ROM error. Interesting. I wonder if a reload will get rid of it. That's the first time I've seen the ROM error. Okay, let's uh, do a cold boot and see what happens. Where is it? For some reason. Uh, oh, they did Dunga View, aren't they? All right, good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Try again. Yeah, that'd be fantastic if they did that. Just a whole box set with everything they had. That'd be uh, well worth picking up if they ever did that. Like the cave did a box set, didn't they, on uh, 360? I, I could have bought that when I was in Japan. It was about 200 quid. No, it was more than that, actually. I think it was about 400 quid, actually, come to think about it. But it, it, it's got pretty much everything in it. It was tempting, but I'd already had some of the other games, so it's a bit of a waste of money in some ways. Like, yeah, it'd be good if they do. I, I got a feeling they'll probably never do it though. Because they, they still haven't even bothered releasing them in the West yet, even if they, I think there's only one of them in there got released in the West. That was on Xbox Live, I think. Possibly two. <laughs> yeah, if it does get released, I hope it's not limited run games. Because you'll end up buying that. It'll get released and you'll have it like six months later. Or you won't be able to get it and it'll be scalped to shit. Unfortunately, their business model sounded like a good idea, but it has just pandered to scalpers, unfortunately. Not their fault, like, but.
Oh god. Oh, right in the middle. I was... I was lucky. Never quite sure where to go of how big your hitbox is when it comes to them things. Yeah, it is. So it's the same, and if something's rare, people want it. Look at all the bloody rare games you get on some of these consoles. You know, loads of a shit. It's just they rare, so people pay stupid money for them. I did it right around Christmas today. Nine months for the L. Yeah, my Davius uh, collection was. Uh, Oh, I was like pulling toenails waiting for that to turn up in the end, I ended up buying the bloody uh, the downloaded versions. So I only ended up using my discs for about one or two nights and that was it. But shit that was, it's a really nice box set I got. Like, I, I, I didn't buy the second box set because it ended up, it did have two new CDs with the same book and there was only two games on it and it, it didn't seem worth the money. The first box I thought was not bad for what you got. The second box set, one to complete it, is a bit of a rip off. I took the sensible option, decided it wasn't actually worth the cash. That's the only problem with strictly limited games and limited games. Especially strictly how long you wait. I understand there's only two guys doing it, but I don't know. When it, when it, when it's out, you want it, don't you? You know what I mean? You're buying it because uh, it's out and that, that's, that's where you want to pick up. It just, I don't, I think it, it, I think it defies the point in lots of ways where you have to wait so long, you end up buying the bloody um, downloaded version anyway. Be waiting for your physical version. And that just, I don't know, makes a bit of a mockery of it, to be honest, I think. It makes it not worth the wait, like. So in the end, you won't end up playing on your, uh, the disc versions, and you'll just end up playing on the bloody um, download ones. So I, I, I have stopped buying uh, the limited uh, run stuff. I've only had bought one or two anyway, but I'm not bothered now, basically. It'll just annoy the shit out of me that I've got to wait so long to get it. I'll end up buying the bloody download one anyway. It's a bit of a shame it works out like that, but... Okay, we got... How many bombs I got? Six. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sparing with the bombs. Well, won't be sparing. Damn, I shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, what? Okay, that was very silly. Ah, 
it's on the original box set where you didn't actually get the game. It was, it was just a download code. I thought that, I gotta be honest, it, it, it looked nice, but I thought it was a bit ridiculous. You just, you would, you were literally just buying a box and uh, some, and a download code, which is fucking stupid. At least, it seemed pretty stupid, I thought. It was a non-physical, physical edition. There's some good stuff in there, though, but... Mm. Yeah, the original Gregor release one. Oh, damn, it got stuck behind the wall. They released it, didn't they, with uh, a load of like cards and sort of nice little trinkets and a poster and stuff like that and a nice box and then give you a download code. Yeah, that's why I didn't buy the digital box. I thought it was, I thought it was fucking stupid as well. I got a four bombs, so I'm gonna bomb the shit like this. <clears throat> yeah, I think they did one after, didn't they? Yeah, the disc one is fine, that's great. Oh, there's a fucking download code in the box. Who's fucking idea with that? Fucking stupid. If they'd given a disc at the time, I would have bought it. a bit walled in there, aren't Great. They need to bugger off those green things. Last time. Yeah, there was a Korean disc version, wasn't it? <clears throat> I should have picked that up, actually. I sort of regret a little bit not picking that up. Ah. What got an extra life? Angling his bits at me. Ah, I forgot he comes right away down the screen. Yeah, I agree. Such a fucking stupid idea. And uh, Kingdom Grand Prix in it. Kingdom, where am I? Yeah, but if they, if they end up doing a complete box set, or like do a Toe Plan box set, or a Ryzen box set, or a Cave one, 
Might be up for that. Oh, did they? And only give you store credit. Well. Yeah, let's get in. Try and start. Right, let me just see if that's it in a minute. No, I'm not his user either, but it's a bit shit they only give you credit. So just giving you a cash back. Yeah, it's quite strange shoot my pieces. But you can just ignore the racing bit. It's weird the racing section, you've got to be above the half a half middle of the screen, or you can pull back and you can go slow. Or you can force it to go faster. You haven't got to beat them. Get to the start. When you go faster, it does make the game harder, though. You can tone it back a bit. Speed up a little bit. I did see um, this. This goes around twice essentially. I did see a replay of this with um, the guy go down twice, using and um, winning both times, coming first, which is quite impressive. Don't forget anything on this for taking the bosses apart. Basically, I can speed right up now. Game last. No okay kid about that. Yeah, the something port's good, isn't it? I played on stream before, and I'm pretty sure it was on the Saturn. Nope. Should have kept what I had, actually, but oh well. Oh my god. I haven't got much firepower now, which is a bit of a, a bit of a shit. The only problem with using game, he's powerful, but he's twitchy. Okay, that went a great goal. Oh. Alright, Ben, how's it going? Welcome to the room. Oh yeah, definitely. Have you never played it, have you? Yeah, it's really good. The sequel's good as well, you're right. I've never won credit him. Yeah, the first one's class. So you've got more players on this one, though. Honest John. Well, I don't think I've ever used Honest John. Let's go Honest John. Yeah, that's right. I've, I've heard that as well. I've, I've seen other. the one... The one replay I seen of it, the guy was explaining exactly how all of it works, and he came first. He was saying about which levels are not a good idea to go fast in, and which levels are. Right, so he's got a spread weapon. Wonder what the uh, green weapon for Honest John is like.
Danger. He's quite powerful. Come sixth, then come last, I think. <laughs> yep, honest John Zini. Yeah, Kingdom Grand Prix. I can't remember that. Was it uh, Mahu something? Mahu something Daisaka Adventure or something? Yeah, this is the second game, basically. Yeah, spread web, hopefully, they're coming handy. The controls are quite nice. They're in between slow and fast, if you know what I mean. Oops. You do get pushed around in this as well, mind. So you've got to be weary of that. You're bumping the walls, but you can also bump the other players. And they can bump you. They would hit me then. I don't think this has ever been done in another shmup of it, like a recent shmup. I think this is the only game that sort of does that feature. Both these levels are hard, to be honest. Speed it up a bit. That's the vampire boss isn't it, at the end of this one. He could be quite hard. Oh, uh, damn. Power up really. They <laughs> okay, negotiated that. Oh, they fire. Honest John got his ass kicked. Oh, you're 28 minutes behind you. <laughs> I did that when I put the iPad on. It was about four or five minutes behind. Okay, let's have a go of... I don't think I've ever played them either.
But these guys are fast. As soon as they got a jet. Yeah, they are fast. Oh god. Let's hope they got good weapons. Right, so they got missiles. Okay. That's better. Do, 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 do. See how powerful this is. Ah. Uh. It was a bad time to move across, wasn't it? I'll speed up. Yeah, same here really with the Japanese names. Yeah, the certain uh, Japanese like being stunning, eh? Bump about the way. I think I would prefer a slightly less twitchy ship. If you got the slowest, these levels can take a long time to complete. I slow down here. Come on, get out of the way. Killed him fast, mate. He doesn't even bomb. Should be near the end sh shortly, I think. to go faster. Yeah, there's so many really good things on the Japanese satin uh, lineup. Shame a lot of the stuff never come out here. I think the satin would have done a hell of a lot better if it had. It would have been PAL versions, unfortunately, mine, but... those bats. I was seen a video earlier of um, Mexico and uh, bats flying out of uh, this giant cave and th there was, I don't know how many there were, literally hundreds of thousands of bats. There might even be more. The video was on, a, was about 30 seconds long, maybe to a minute and it was constant. It was nuts. It almost darkened the sky off a bit as well. There was a guy driving past it. 
Oh yeah, it's probably wasn't a good idea going up this side. Ooh, that was lucky. On speed up. This boss is quite tricky. Them things grab you. I think I got full forward firing as well. It's quite nice, that is. Spread firing a death. Right, okay, 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 we're good, we're good. Yeah, I, I keep meaning to try and play for a Japanese RPG using the bloody iPad. Translating there as I go. Oh, Grandia. I never played the original Grandia, but Grandia 2 is amazing. I, I played it briefly, the original, but um, yeah, Grandia 2 is fantastic. Imagine the first game is pretty damn is pretty damn good as well. Oh, the fight from behind. Ah, I've got quite far. Nice shiny force three, nice. Sorry, I just completed um, East O from Filgana. We're going for more East games. I want to try and complete them all. Oh, let's go and grab a drink, I think. I've done the majority of them. I just need to finish off the ones in between. Right, back in the moat.
Right, I'm back. Tell you what, these cup holders from bloody um, IKEA are super handy. Clip them on a desk or on a shelf, and they hold well over a litre of um, drink in them. Oh, they missed in chat. There's also some nice ones on there, mind. It might be a little bit smaller, but there's some good games on there. Right, okay. Oh, Miyamoto. He's a good character. The race is mine. I have a go with some uh, mass system after. Suck us up the way. I think the home in is probably the best fire of him. Let me double check. Yeah, that's the bombs home in I want. Even though the bombs they are powerful. Might try and uh, dodge the vampire level this time. Oh, I should pick that up. Ooh. Okay, let's restart that one then. Yeah, the Meg Drive's got some pretty amazing games. Yeah, Swamp Junkies video's good, isn't it? I think there was maybe one or two in there that I hadn't actually played. I think they were just like um, some of the Korean games. Go! I'm gonna keep the home environment. Same as the PC engine, it's got absolute shared loads of shooters. Loads of really good ones. Mega Drive was uh, blessed with a pretty amazing shooter library as well. Taking them a fair time to do that video. Yeah, it's worth a watch, it's good. If I'd done it, I think I can't do short videos, so if I'd done that video, I think it probably would have been about eight hours long. Yeah, it's well worth a watch. Check it on in between stuff, watch it bit by bit, but it was really good. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's go to that level for a change. And if you got plans to do like um, any other console smaps, probably. Saturn would be quite good.
shouldn't be too spare anymore with bombs, seems I've got quite a few of them. Little dolphins <laughs> falling you in. <laughs> yeah, Saturn game would be really good. I love a PC Engine; such a brilliant machine. Yeah, th this there's loads of really good shooters. It's worth checking the PC Engine emulator on your PC and uh, having to explore the uh, the games. It dodged the vampire level, so. Homey Firing is doing a pretty good job. I want to get sniped by those um, cannons, I'm pretty sure they can hit you. I can't remember where this boss is. I think he's going to fight at some point, isn't it? Last. Some nice stuff on the core graphics menu. Yeah, the PlayStation Classic does it uh, really nice. Do you know what? I had a Neo Geo back in the day, and um, and well, and a PC Engine actually, but. Uh, if I had the choice of the two, I would pick the PC Engine. I know it sounds a bit nuts, but the PC Engine's got a lot more games and a lot more diverse library. Nothing wrong with it. I love the Neo Geo, though. It's probably my second favourite console, but... But if it had nothing to do with monetary value, I would, I would take the, uh, the PC Engine. I'd say the, the PC Engine and the, Mega, and the 
the Neo Geo are my two favourite consoles. With the Mega Drive being third. Not sure if those things can hit you. Oh god. I don't think you missed out whichever way you went, to be honest, but... Uh... Again, here we go. The new Jews got a pretty good smut library as well, haven't they? They're, there's not that many on there, but the ones that are on there are actually pretty nice quality. The only one I don't like is that Captain Tomedy. I know a lot of people do, but I don't like it very much. Apart from that, all the other ones I like a lot. Yeah, the PlayStation Classic's great, isn't it? I've still got that plugged up to my uh, Avatari. Ready to go. It's uh, a pretty awesome little emulator machine. That's a good thing about that, isn't it? You can just chuck all the stuff on it. Get a 200, I got like a 256 gig um, card in mine. Just uh, get one of them and just dump everything on there. And then you basically play where you want. Ah, snipe me. It's weird now the PC ended. Out out uh, the um, PlayStation, out the box, it's the worst net retro uh, console by far. I don't know why I did that, that was just really stupid. But hack that fucking thing and it's, it's amazing. It's by far the best one. Glad you're having fun with it anyway. Ah. Yeah, I like versus fighting games as well. Pretty much all my favourite fighting games are on the new Joe. I remember having one back in the day when they first came out and it was just like, you know, that that was like the ultimate console to have, essentially. You were getting exactly what you were getting in the arcade. At a price mind, but you felt like the man when you had one, that's all I can say. <laughs> and I bought one for Magician Lord. I played that in the arcades when it first came out and I was like... Yep, I've got to buy myself a new Joe. I did end up in the end selling it and buying a Neo Geo CD just for the fact that uh, it was way more affordable to get buy games. I know it seems like a crazy choice, but back in the day when the, the games were the price they were, it, it weren't a bad choice, even with the wait times. It allowed me to play a hell of a lot more Neo Geo games than I ever would have. I think Bornham's uh, speed is quite nice. Oh, 
gods, come on. He's not very powerful, though, is he? At least this firing ain't particularly great. Might swap to the other one now. It's um, surprising on the PC Engine as well. The couple of uh, Neo Geo games they did on the PC Engine are really good quality. Considering it was an 8-bit machine, essentially, they did. I, I would have been happy with some of the conversions, to be honest. If I had another Neo Geo back in the day, I would have I would have been pretty damn happy. It's amazing what they actually managed to pull off. Ah, I can't get in the power-ups. Ah, oh, what? Ah, oh, I can't believe it. Couldn't pick up the power-ups. <laughs> I'm super powered down. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I, I I didn't really have much money. I just um. I was, I was pretty good at wheeling and dealing, pretty much. Oh, living in a bed ship, who? Yeah, I remember seeing the uh, the Mega Drive and SNES conversions of these games when I had a Neo Geo, and I, I looked at them. And I was always like, oh god, they look shit. They look terrible. But uh, you know. I was obviously seeing it through rose tinted glasses in some ways, and I only look well, not rose tinted glasses, the thing in it, but when I look back at them now, they weren't actually that bad, they were actually pretty decent. I think I, I must have been snobby or something. I was just looking at them thinking, ah, oh, yeah, they, they look terrible. Right, actually, I'll, I'll have one more game of this, and we'll mix it up. Um, let's try it out. Yeah, I was I was living at home then, and so I was lucky. I I, I literally uh, I had a job as well, so I wasn't paying a huge amount of money, but uh, I was working as well at the time, and I was pretty good at wheeling and dealing as well. So I ended up doing that, and then when I wasn't working. I was uh, selling films and porn films in boot sales and making lots of cash. So. Don't ask. I was young and I needed the money. So she got little fairies that jump out and attack. Ah, is she the car She looks exactly like the character off a Peace Engine sh shmup. I'm gonna go for the red fire and that seems 
Very cool when the little fairies go out and attack. I must have had a PC Engine and a uh, PC Engine CD and uh, a, bit, a new Geo at the same time because uh, I remember going to the shop in Cardiff and buying uh, King of Monsters 2 on uh, cartridge. It's the same shop I bought my East game and stuff for the CD. Oh yeah, I was into all that. I used to. I had. Um, I bought myself a D2 Mac decoder, remember them things? And uh, I had a second satellite dish on the side of the house. And I was, I used to, I used to basically, I had one of those double Amstrad double um, video recorders. And I, I used to basically just tape the hardcore porn off it all night. And then uh, I used to spend all week putting it on uh, videotape and I used to sell it in boot sales on the weekend. For extra cash. Be surprised how popular they were, and uh, various other things. Ah, oh, them are the daisy. Eh? That's how I ended up buying half my consoles and games. Ah, uh, basically. Yeah, pretty much. And there was this one channel on the D2 Max stuff. That literally it would be like all family programs all all day and then you you would hit uh six six o'clock at night and it, it would be like pure hardcore porn all night i can't remember what channel it was but it, it was pretty nuts Them of the days we couldn't get off anything else, so it was like uh, we're good sellers. That's all I can say. <laughs> Funny way I think about that now. Like, I had to do something because I, but I end up couldn't work properly because I ended up uh, I bit my arm out of joint probably like way over twenty times, and I it, it made me wait four and a half years for an operation doing that point. My arm had literally just ran to me fall out of joint. Could be doing anything. Literally having to stretch, move it arm to grab something, it literally just drop out of joint. So I was a bit screwed. And uh, so I'd do something for a bit of extra cash while I was just hanging around the house. Can I get killed by that? No. Okay, cool. That's that's good. That's cool, the little fairies attack. Oh, I missed the firepower. Yeah, no internet, none of that. I should do a lot of, like, um... Trading consoles and things like that, and games, and, and I used to be, always come out up on the deals. I was pretty lucky in that respect. It was a proper little wheeling dealer then, back when I needed the extra cash. That's why I ended up, literally, that's why I ended up buying all these consoles. I remember selling my um, entire manga collection to fund the PlayStation when that first came out. I had a pretty nice collection of manga films at the time. I remember selling them and doing various deals to pick one of them out when they came out.
Shame, my, my mate's got my original PlayStation. The way I, I, I end up painting it, don't ask. He's got it, it's a bit screwed, but he, it, it doesn't work properly. And it, it was one of those ones I had it for about two years, maybe, and I just, I'd have to really use it upside down to get it to play work. Ah, they were the days, eh? Fun times. <laughs> ah, really funny. It was fantastic that Amstrad recorder as well. You could literally record, copy anything. So take all the macro vision out and stuff. I can't remember how I got hold of that. I used to do um, Betamax to VHS conversions for people as well. I remember old Betamax. I'm sure I borrowed a laser disc for a while. Tried out with a few games. It might have been a slightly broken one. I've never owned one myself. Always wanted one though. Those fairies are well handy, aren't they? Yeah, the manga labels, brilliant, wasn't it? I was well into collecting them. I used to, um, <laughs> it's just stupid when you think about it. I used to be, every time I used to get money off the dole, I'd end up going to Cardiff. Uh, I'd go to Shipley's, which is a pretty amazing arcade in Cardiff at the time. Um, it was where all, all the brand new games where I first seen Street Fighter and various other things, they would all be in that arcade. And um, I used to basically go down there, buy yourself a manga film. Once a week or whatever it was, once every two weeks, and then spend all day in Shipley's, and then uh, go and watch a film on the way home, and then that was my money for the week. <laughs> it was that one day of joy for every time I got paid. I used to love that arcade Shipley's. It was amazing back in the day. They had like um. It was like it was, it was a long arcade, not a not a wide one, if you know what I mean. And um, at the back was six full-size uh, American pool tables. And then uh, they had a massive arcade section then, and they they literally had anything new come out. They had it all in there straight away. And then at the front end, it was all gambling machines. It went crap then. They basically got rid of the arcades and just sold part of the building and kept um, all the gambling stuff but that was a shit out arcade that was yeah I know are oh, you still pick up a DVD it's nice yeah they were better than the American dubs I haven't seen any manga DVDs for a long time. Yeah, Betamax. Remember as a kid? I remember my? I remember going to um, when, we, when we first ever had a video player, which is like, I don't know, I must have been a kid, probably about eight or something at the time. And uh, I remember going to the shop by us, and there, there was a, a video shop, but they had Betamax and um, VHS. All into two different sections. I got my video probably was like something special at the time, wasn't it? When you were at that time, and it was literally on the TV. I'm gonna chance to have a video player and rent films. It's like whoa! Can't imagine it now, man. Can you just get films and everything everywhere? 
streamed on demand, but uh, do I miss the days when you go to a video shop, spend an hour and a half looking around, and then walk out with nothing? I don't really miss that. <laughs> They fight from the side, that's why I got it with. Ah, I was keeping my bomb, man. You had to beat Max, too. Yeah, I think we had one once as well. I had one at one point, but I don't think it was working particularly too good. I think it was the one I used to use uh, when I used to do the conversions of people in uh, Salem. That was another thing I used to do in the boot sales. Yeah, they had. Um, they just had that you could just see the one tape reel, can you, on the one side, on Peter Max, and the tapes were a bit smaller. Right. Okay. Let's try something different. Let's mix it up. That's fun. Need more practice on you though. Um, okay, but what we're on about Neo Geo conversions on CD, they'll play some of them, they, they're pretty damn nice. Considering the 8-bit is pretty amazing. Still, all, all this time, I'm still no, I still sit no more than uh, a meter, maybe a meter half away from a video tape, which is pretty nuts. I've still got a few left. I bet they look absolutely awful on a on a TV. Bum, bum, bum. Um, let's go Dragon. This is a surprisingly amazing conversion, considering it's an 8-bit machine. Yeah, yeah I, I used to like it as well. Damn it. It's a tricky game, uh, World Wars 2. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, I still love it when video, game, when, uh, video films used to come out. It be a bit of a spectacle, didn't it? <laughs> um, I should have uh, taken the combo when I had a chance. Pretty amazing this is, isn't it, for a, an 8-bit machine. Got him. Yeah, I remember all those uh, old video tapes. Then they started renting games, didn't they? Which is quite handy sometimes.
I guess it's obviously not as good looking as the new G1, but it's got the line scrolling floor and everything. Night in the back, I need to calm down. <laughs> I still love this game. I play for loads on the Neo Geo. I'm a bit of a World Heroes uh, fan. They were talking about doing a new one. One of the franchises they might actually bring back. Yeah, it is. Oh, you gotta get bird of you, buddy. No worries, mate. Take it. Nice food to pop in. Catch you soon. Ah, oh, this guy's always a bit of a bastard. No. I had to make some sort of sacrifices, I suppose, didn't they? It's amazing how they got this even to look this good, considering. It's got the arcade difficulty as well. I tried to get him with uh, a weak kick in. <sighs> Music's good as well. Remakes of the tunes. This a uh, tricky single player thing on the Neo Geo as well. I got me with the shark up I was lucky I got the stun then. <laughs> to be honest, if I didn't have a Neo Geo back in the day and I had this, I would have been pretty happy. A few specials good on you as well, eh? I did a video a long, long time ago um, showing them all. She's horrible in the arcade. She's very hard to fight. She's a grabbing nightmare. She's hard to beat.
She does tend to fall for the back kick a lot, though. Even on the new Jew. Yeah, they got Fatal for you, Fatal for you two, and Fatal for you special, haven't they? I think I can't remember if I picked a Fatal for you special. I think I got the originals of some of them. I do not want to attack her if I can help it. It grabbing nightmare. Yeah, what they released it was um out of fighting, fit for you, fit for two. Uh fit for two, sorry, fit for special. Uh this was there any of us? I think I might that might be it. Ever watch Mikado where they, they play this quite often? And uh, they play Fit Fury 2 a lot as well, special. Uh, this guy's amazingly hard to beat. You can get one hit on you and uh, it could be game over basically. In two player. Like the, the two guys in the back on it are running back and forth either of the. So they're much better than the um, Mega Drive and SNES conversions. Oh God, he's hunting me down here. He's lucky. The um, CPU is relentless on this, isn't it? It's just it's after you continuously. Yeah, the PC Engine version. I do like the World Heroes games. Right. Yep, welcome back. Bam, 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 bam. I played the uh, Kabuki Clash fighting game on the um, arcade card. That's pretty good. It's like a precursor to the Neo Geo one. Oh, he's being a nightmare. Ask it. Ah, oh, right, that's cool. Yeah, I don't think I've picked up special. I think that's the one I'm missing. Wait the man. the music stops in between rounds though. It's a little bit of a shit, but you know. Um. Oh my god, it's not good. I don't like it when he's close to me. Oh god, this is not good. 
Yeah, dude. Yeah. Try me again. No more mod. Oh, the last one. Yeah, that's really good as well. Oh, jet, I, yeah, I, I don't like Jet very much. I don't like the game layout on it. Looks nice. I've got that on CD. i got special on CD as well. Not oh, perfect or whatever it's called, not special. I just got him on the cross up myself then. Yeah, it's a bit weird, Jet, isn't it? The way you said it's perfect, yeah. I like perfect as well. It's got loads of cool moves on there, and extra buttons and stuff. Rasputin, he's probably one of my favourite characters on here. He's brilliant, Rasputin. He's a bit of a bastard, if you know how to use him. Absolutely. He can be a bit of a nightmare. He's a tough character. Yeah, Rasputin is a really good character. He's got loads of moves to keep people away from you, and he can. He's got like loads of moves to trap you. Catching me in the uh... I'm in trouble now, aren't I? Ah. That was the first one you played, was it? Yeah, the starting port's good as well, isn't it? Do not want to get him, let him get near you. Come on, let go. Come on, I'm wiggling, what am I going to do? Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, you're just going to grab me to death, which I can't get out of. Oh my god. Give over. Yeah. He's got really good air moves as well, haven't he? And good grabs. It's just his um, special's a little bit slow, isn't he? But the, 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 the uh, dress spin move in mid-air when it comes down on him is really good as well. And he's got that really good anti-air as well when he sticks his hand up with his finger. Oh, he, he's he's a little bastard. That's why I like him. Just don't want to get near him. I try to jump away in. Okay.
I didn't want didn't mean to jump off and Come on, let go. Okay. He's really good and perfect as well. You got that rose special, which is quite handy. So I do not want to get, uh, do not want to get near them. Oops. Set myself up for that, didn't I? Come on, Lego one. Lucky he didn't fight, lucky he didn't attack him. <sighs> okay, how about? I don't remember that bonus. Bonus came on the uh, Neo Geo. It's not on there, is it? Super aggressive now, isn't he? He's trying to cross me up every minute, every five minutes. <sighs> yeah, Snare Street's got little tiny characters, haven't they? It's all right, actually, the SNES version. I made that um, a released version of it. He flogged on. Uh, he flogged on eBay probably like 10, 15 years ago. Like a prototype version he had. I don't know if there was any differences between the official release version. I know the scores and the names were set up properly on it. J Khan. Oh god. Get them again on that. Haha. Uh -huh. I thought he was stunned then. Oh, 
Good, the arse cross ups. Slightly off timing on that, all the jumps. Damn, got me. Yeah. We'll have a go at that next if you want. Yeah, sure. It's pretty decent. I need to set up six buttons or get it working. In the pool in dynamite. Yeah, which one? The new Geo one, Farthest of Eden. Kabuki Clash. I like that game on the new Geo's to play out quite a bit. Gonna jump in on the men. Yeah, the CD release is really nice. It's got really nice uh, remix music on the CD one. Okay, if we're gonna carry on doing that, I can. Yeah, it's got some nice characters and stuff on it, haven't it? There are four, four nice bosses on it as well. It did. Rockin. He's quite a good character as well, actually. Quite oh, cool, yeah, I've got the tank coming through the wall there. Good combo eyes. I'm the perfect means he's probably gonna go a bit nuts on me. Yep. Yep, it does look like expect a cat to hit. I always thought that as well. in the stun. Go, go, got your arms. Go, go, got your dick. Never said that on the card, don't he? Down. 
Mew Jigas. Even Kayla, that was good. Those chicks may all bite. Um, kick the wrong way. I'm um, okay, thanks buddy. All good. Probably wouldn't get me that. Pause it or did it crash? I'm not pause it. He smiles on the Uju, when did he? Just before you melt away. Tuned the end to get a lot more damage off him. Oh, come on. Get. Yep. Nice grab. I couldn't get out without any. Big punch, it's the only way. Okay, no chance. Give SK that when it comes to last bosses, they're always better bastards. <laughs> Yo, holy diver! Cool song, guys. Your legs for miles, yes. Oh, you got out of it. I was lucky. Technically, I probably shouldn't have hit him.
That was terrible by me yet. Come on. Shit. Good will scrubs. Oh, come on, I couldn't do anything in. Okay. I was a bit more luck and skill then, I'd say. Turned into a fat bastard. Also, oh no, I haven't. Take it back. Yep. Just man to be turned into a chunky boy. That's all that about. the extent of the ending. Game over. Ah. Yep. Okay, so the Kabuki Clash one is with K, I think. I think it does. Um, that's it. Wrong button. Dude. This is quite good. It's a six button game as well, so I'm, I'm going to have to change my buttons. Yasashiku nakeria ikite yukene. Tsuyoku nakeria onna nya motene hana mo chiruran. Kabuki. Yeah, it was a PC Engine version. It's pretty awesome looking, isn't it, for what it is? Kabuki! Kabuki! Right, okay, so. Um, I need to change that to 6 button, and then I need to set my buttons. Right, left, down, up. I think it's set like this. Select, run, button three, four, five, six. I think. Got key options just to make sure I got the right button set up. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. That looks scary. Um. Okay. First is uh, left attack. Or scenario. Yeah, it's really good on the PC engine. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, not good feeling. I said. Got the Kabuki characters and stuff. Some of the ones from the uh, the new Geo game as well. See, this is an arcade uh, card game as well. No one talks about this game at all. I hope I say it's loading.
Right, I've got the bike button set. Chargeable. Yeah, it's a versus fighter. I don't know when this came out. I don't know whether it is like a a prequel of sorts to the uh, Neo Geo one. It might be. Obviously, the Neo Geo one's way better, but uh, it's different. Yeah, the CD one's really good. Yeah, I like the CD version of uh, Kabuki Clash. I think I got it somewhere. I think. Got some pretty sound music on it. This is like a proper six button game as well. What we got next? Black screen. Awesome. Is it loaded? Might have crashed. I well have crashed. Yeah, I've got a I've got a copy of some Oh, the Saturn one. They had the two PC Engine games, which are pretty much I've I've got multiple copies of them for some reason. They're given loads of them away, but um, they're the most highest selling games on the PC Engine. The two RPGs. Yeah, it has crashed. Ah. Uh -huh. I just reset. Can I just do a start and select? Oh, that's property crash. Yeah, I don't think I've seen the sun one. Yeah, the, the two PC Engine ones are supposed to be really good as well. I had about like five or six copies each of them. I ended up keeping the best ones. One of them's got um, a really good poster slash map in it. It looked really nice artwork on it. The poster's pretty awesome. Let's try again. Let's pick a different character. I'll go the monkey. I'll go there. I'll go here. Okay. Yeah. Takes a little while to load, doesn't it? She got a fireball. Yeah, yeah. Any charge moves?
I don't think I need specials. Oh, you're on a stage, look. That's quite cool. That's a charge move. Random leopard. Oh god, yes, yeah, terrible that is. <laughs> I do like the one woman's move round where she spins around and hits you her tits. That's hilarious. Oh far, the game is dreadful. jumps as well. Ooh, what was up here? Oh, it's hanging down stuff. I thought it was a mess of graphics. Right, is it going to crash? That's the question. Do we get. Uh... Yeah, we do. It's got to be a mask. I've never actually played through this. Martial Masters. This plays better, Martial Masters, on you. Actually, it plays alright, actually, to be honest. Moves are nice and easy to get out. It does actually play pretty decent. I follow for that with
Come on, are we gonna get a, a load screen? Yep. Visual Photo Studio. What's that on? On Sun. I don't think I've ever seen that one. It does play nice, actually. It's easy to do moves. Um, and it's, it's easy to do the kicks and punches as well. Some of them sort of uh, combo. Not a huge amount combo, mine, but it does play all right. No, I never heard that either. It's quite easy to block as well, isn't it? Um, can't air block, mind. Oh, it's a nice little sneaky. You're going to be like that then, all that. Yeah, there is that. Uh, like I said, it does play alright, so. Sneaky eyes. Oops. Charge up pretty fast. He's a bit tricky to jump at. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't. It might have looked half decent as well. Going by the other conversions they did, it might look pretty good. It is pretty amazing what they actually managed to push out. Guys, head's huge. I've only found two moves of her, though. I don't know whether she got any more. Oh, the fighting's got a bit of zoom in, haven't it? Sort of. If I remember rightly. He's fast. She hasn't got much range with her uh, punches. Oh, 
fall down all the time now, isn't he? Oh, keep doing that move. Yeah, I think it, it's, it's not zooming effects as such, is it? But it does sort of get bigger and smaller a little bit, doesn't it, if I remember rightly? I love Samurai Showdown. It's my favourite. My favourite beat map, basically. They're my favourite uh, fighting games. I'm big into them on the new Joe when I had it. What's your favourite samurai game, man? I'd have been dressed. I know everyone goes for um, 2, which is fantastic. I love part 2 as well. Big fan of it. But um, I really like samurai shoot on 4. But I think Samurai Shodown 3 is the best looking one. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I really like Part 4. They're probably, 2 and 4 are probably on the new Joe, probably my favourites. But uh, four, I really like. Get, uh, in the way a little bit. <laughs> Desperado music. Oh God, she's she's quite cool. God, she kicked my ass. Okay. Got a feeling I'm gonna die here. Okay, she's dynamite. That's five. That's four, sorry. Four followed by two. It's pretty much me, really, as well. Yeah, three looks amazing, doesn't it? It's just the look of that game is fantastic. Alright, so we're having a fireball contest, we? Ooh, okay, that's uh, interesting.
Yeah, something about the graphics on free, isn't it? It just it it looks fantastic. Part three does. I don't think it plays as good as the other one's mind, but it, it does. It does look amazing. I remember buying shot on my shoulder when it first came out on the ES. Uh, I seen a preview of it in Game Fan, and I was like, I got that. Didn't disappoint you. I don't think it is either. Uh, the original one, classic. <laughs> yeah, the, the sprite works really. Yeah, I, I, I'd say I like them all as well. Like, it's not one of them I dislike, but um, you like the fifth one as well on the uh, Thomas Wave. That's, that's really good as well. The new one's fantastic. I say new one, it's been out for a couple of years, I don't know, but... I never really got into that one. I, I nearly... I should have bought... I nearly bought a Samurai 64 um, board. I uh, say new Juice 64 board years ago, when they were they, when they were flying around for like 30 quid with like four cartridges. I should have picked it up, but I, I didn't bother. But yeah, I've not played that one a huge amount. Bad idea. Ooh. So they have got specials then. Oh well, they have got supers. Galford, yeah. Halford. Hey, Poppy. <laughs> I wonder if it tells you in the booklet how the specials work. I don't want to jump at this bucket because... He's just trying to get close to me to do the uppercut knee. Been nasty being guys close to. Didn't mean to jump out either. Oh my god.
Don't mind if you keep it trapped. Bitte, ich fuck da bin. Good job, you stupid. Fighters who fight on this. I've got a clue. The time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> go fight a minky. <laughs> Big angry looking one. Yeah, on. Oh, can't fault that. Yeah, I would like to pick one up. I need bought one um, in a show about two years ago for hundred quid. I was tempted. What's the Fatal Fury game like on it? Any good? Though? <laughs> <laughs> but they did Bu Bueri, what's not Buddy one or um, Bureri or something. They play. I can't play that quite often. One the two Fatal Fury games and two Samurai games. Plus they had that racing game as well. Which looks alright. Yeah, it is pretty bonkers. That's a damn good pickup, that is. Bargain. It's like the white satin I got. I paid a tenner for a postage from Japan. Yeah, I'll be wrecky, I say. Yeah, it, it's it's a bit. Weird. It looks good when you when you can play. If you watch Mikado, they uh, they they do competitions on it every now and then. Like, and they they be, it looks pretty decent. Right, okay. Yeah, I should have picked one up when I had the chance years ago. In the didn't bother doing it for some reason, I don't know why. At one point they were going like super cheap. Any more pictures of the uh, stag tube coming in? Or videos? It's empty in here as well. That's shocking. That oh, background's quite cool. I want to go to that Mori festival. I mean, it'd be pretty cool to go to. I 
I love Iron SNK uh, versus Capcom 2. That's a fantastic game, I was. That uh, Mori backwards class. Yeah, I'd both sound my games nice. Yeah, I've played Brecky briefly and it, it does seem very, very different. Oh, the characters again are, they seem to be falling for the fireball quite a bit. Yeah, start doing that fast kick again. It's lucky this works. Yeah, some games are wicked. I got some of my showdown sin, which is like, I don't know, the evolution of the um, 64 games, isn't it? I don't like having much, I just appreciate it. I, I, did, I did have a go of it a couple of years ago and try to get into it. it. There is a bit more to it than it first seems. So I suppose I'll give it that. Yeah, the, the summer games look really nice. Mudman? Gapu. Poo man. Yeah, I couldn't get into it. It's got nice me. I'm glad with the new one they went back to the standard style. It was a demon. <laughs> Got all dark soldiers. I don't want to go near him, he seems pretty dangerous. Lovely legs. Works out, obviously. His hooves look like um, high heel shoes, don't they? <laughs> nice groin mane as well. Got like a good groin mane. If there is such a thing. Oh, they do play a lot better, do they? I, like I say, I have played the meme a couple of times, and I, I played the uh, PlayStation conversion of the first one. <laughs> but yeah, Sen, I wouldn't. I want a big fan of. Okay, once he gets uh, once he gets loose, he's pretty uh, he's pretty nuts. Edging forward slightly. Right. Good job I didn't have to get in there and fight him. It's like a bit bendy, but there, mate. Eh? What a broker.
We got one more than one sub boss. Yep. Who we got now? Zeus with horns. Yeah, it's a main game. <laughs> yep, gotta love a good grind, man. <laughs> uh, have you seen the uh, the lazy swimsuit with the mankini? Uh, that's just it's just wrong. It's basically a normal swimsuit, but it's got a mankini sort of design on it with um, hairy chest and hairy groin. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> He's going to be dynamite once you're getting close now. Okay. Ooh, okay. I keep getting footed. He's a little bit weak to the fly kick, mind. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, he is a mean mofo. I'm just gonna put me again. Thing is, uh, perfect aim every time you guess it. Yep, he's playing on his organ. Let's go to the fate for you, boss, when he's like, I'll chisel your gravestone. <laughs> That's quite cool. Or Crozer, Wolfgang Crozer. Ah, oh, I should have jumped. He's playing footsies with me. Just jump away from him really when he does that. Nope. Can't dodge, eh? Come on, Sauron, sort it out. Hello, Bean. How are you? How are you? We lost. Get killed by Sauron.
Come on. Got to beat him. Well, the first time it's happened tonight to come up to say show. He does. A bit tricky. I went to pass it, you can't dodge close. I don't know. No idea. Seems like a final boss, doesn't he? Ah, oh, should have jumped. That's a bit of a shit move, guys. Jump. Nope. Damn. Um, didn't help jumping away from me, man. It's a bit of a shit. If you jump too far away from me, he starts doing that, I do. Oh, come on, piss off. Oh, damn. Okay, that works quite nice. Ooh, okay, what was that? for a while. Was he your last boss? Yep. Where'd she come from? Oh, she was out saving us, wasn't she? Sorry. Oh, okay. 
Is this doing something? Bigger than the game. There's the watch ending. Well, yeah. Why not? things from his guts. His legs don't look quite so fabulous here, do they? His groin meme is pretty good though. I don't know about nicely done. <laughs> Sorry, I never finished that before, so that's cool. Some of these characters in the Neo Geo one, aren't they? The monkey is. Obviously, Kabuki is. He's not. <sighs> in the one I was playing in um, Kabuki Clash, he's got that white dog. If it's the same person. It would be interesting if the Far East of Eden games had been translated to actually play them. Yeah, not too bad, I suppose. Ooh. That is it. What else we got then? Uh, I'll go on. Let's have a go there. I haven't played that for a while. Oh. Um, actually, let's load the core again. Save me doing my buttons again. Oh, we can play with him on there. Ah, I didn't know that. Quite cool, these little uh, extra menus they've added. <laughs> guy with the accent you have um a baseball bat do you have a big guy with the baseball bat uh let's have a look cool yeah i can't remember what i used to like in there i quite like a boogie in there it's quite an interesting uh Game on the new Jew, isn't it? It's quite different to your usual stuff. Oh, my buttons are still messed up. No! Ah, that's because I got six buttons. Six buttons still turned on? No, oh, two buttons. Okay, I'm setting the game in. One, two, start. 
Uh, Most of the time you don't need the six button pad. Sound? Let me go sound. Weird. Where's the sound gone? Ah, oh, it's back. <laughs> mm, let's play with the guy. And run through this for a while. I do find this game fun. Start up in. Damn it. Do 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 do. I should go finish some of the other ones on you. Like one is a bit. Uh, too ain't bad, though. One game I've never finished on the PC Engine. Done three and four. Yeah, no worries, mate. Cheers for popping in anyway. Take care, dude. Sleep tight, sweet prince. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. I should have done the little jump hop so I don't have to wait for the charge. Yep, cool. Did the skip. Come on, jump in. Nice soundtrack to this game. Right, 
Okay, cool. I should try to finish the second one. Wait, is the, the, the sequel to this on the SNES is fun. Jump. <laughs> Took it for the ages to get him in. It's going slow on this now, tight. Hello. Oh, we pretty killed each other. Great. If you shoot that last one, they respawn again. It's no man time. Can't do much to attack him. Right, last one. Didn't charge enough, eh? Right. Sometimes they take two shots, sometimes they don't. Nice. 
a parallax on this bit. Did loads of nice effects in this game, which a PC Engine literally couldn't do. This is uh, Kaizo Chojin Shibubiman Free. It's uh, it's a great little platform game. It's really good fun. And uh, once you once you figure out that um, yeah, once you figure out the charge move and um, how to best to use it, the game becomes loads easier. It's fun though. Skip him. I don't know why I went for the red one for really, but... Yeah, this, the sequel on the SNES, you do a lot of punching moves and fireball moves and uh, dragon punches and stuff. It's really good fun. That charge move is like super powerful. <laughs> It's a really fun game that I used to like back in the day on the PC Engine. It is a fun playthrough. What am I doing? Ghosts are a pain in the ass. They pinch your, your energy. Like that. Yeah, it's got a it's got a pretty nice name, haven't it? Kaizo Chojin Shibubi Manfri. It's got some pretty good um intros and stuff on you as well. I'll just watch this one for the hell of it. Why are you doing this? Why are you looking for me? That's the way you are. Oh, I'll be upside down. I was a bad guy. Why did you attack me? This game takes too long. It's got loads of intros and stuff to this game. Dodge the lights. Good pattern on the lights. Oh, not so good pattern. Light though. You can actually control that ball. You can hold the button down and make it move all over the place. But it's a bit slow when you do it. I'm just going to do it for the hell of it.
You can do a nice trick. Normally he stops for a second when you use it, but if you tap jump and then release it, he does like a tiny hop and then you can charge and run really fast. first buying this in that shop I was saying about where I used to buy Neo Geo games and that in Cardiff. That's why I first I picked it up. Now another city. Actually, kill that thing, just dies on his own. Okay, do that hop jump. These you can jump. Get the rhythm right to them. Yokuzo Kokoma de Koreta Monoyo. Tarida Hideo Ryukin. We are to need Jigoku Misetere. Come on. <笑>のこのこやるな。悪の仕上がれ。この世界ごと Got tap jumper here. Yeah, yeah. You are supposed to stop on them, but oh god, what am I doing? Okay, this is not going to plan. It is big time boss. Shinyu Kumono ni Kikase Tearo. Mosu Kono Sekai wa Wareware Mazoku no Monoda. Jindu Yu no Korazu Yakisku Kai Misailuga Mojiki Hanatari. Don't want to listen to you, Yabin. So Nakoto Sasete Tamarga. He's 
nearly dead. How about? Here we go. Last boss. I think I'm in the wrong position. Sometimes you stand in the wrong position, he takes way more hit. Then. Right. I'll leave you with this fantastic ending, and I'll go and grab another drink. Good timing that was. Right now. ゴタゴタに巻き込まれるとはな。ついてないぞ、全く。そういえば、あのお姫様たちどうしたのか。え、誰？あは。これで終わったと思ったら大間違いよ、守備民間。お前たちのその体の人中を超えたテクノロジー
two ships left. Got that sideways scrolling one as well, I should have a go of that's that's quite good. I don't think you can get your ships back on this either. <laughs> yep. Oh, I got around two. Not a bad little swap, I think. Considering the machine it's on. I've never owned an SG-1000. It does have some pretty decent games. Very MSX-like, if you know what I mean. I think the mass system is pretty much an MSX. Very similar. Taking a kick in there, money. What's that sideways scrolling one called? I was playing a little while while ago. I like Transbop, it's got loads more to it. Try and find that now, so. It's on the Famicom as well, is it? Didn't know that. Huh? Didn't realise they did a Famicom port as well. Oh, you can get some of your ships back. Okay, they're a bit nasty to shoot. Ah, oh. <laughs> I didn't realise it was a Famicom port. I played on um, one of these a couple of times, my mate's got one, and um, there's, they did a computer version as well, I've played on that. It's basically like a home 8-bit home computer, it plays the same games. Ah, oh, mad sake it actually did a home computer. Fire very fast in this either. Oh, damn. Round four, that's pretty good. I think that's the furthest I've got. What was the other one called?
Oh, right, okay, here's a different game, yeah. I thought I knew that it was on, you know, might have been on there. It's quite a jerky version of Star Force. Oh, that button, I don't want to press. Great little arcade game, this is mind. First of the caravan games in some ways this is. It's mad near this console came out the same day as the Famicom. Wasn't expecting the fire so fast then. This is on the NES mine. I want to get the auto fire power up in this. I got a special bonus, nice. This game infinitely loops as well. You gotta know the enemy types in this. Buck Rogers arcade games on you as well. It's not called Buck Rogers on you, mate, but. Oh, I got sniped. Remember the name of that uh, side scrolling one? Oh, God, it's going to be ah, I don't have speed. The final stars. Tend to play when I go to arcade club. It's got a cab there with it in.
Okay, boss time. Got it. Yeah, scrolling is a little bit of a put off. All part of the course of these games, I suppose. Same with the MSX. Them enemies do. Right, they come back at you. Could dump the ship in a little bit faster. I'm not a uh, fast firing power up for a while. to the left. Okay, next life. Nicely. Oh, they fast. The uh, NES version is better. Oh, it's slowly trapped in. What's that other game called? Let's see if I can recognise it in the list. Rock and Bolt, that's quite an interesting puzzle game, was. I think it was on the Commodore 64, and this, the only machines it was on. Uh, what was it called? Ninja Princess is good as well. Could be that one. Skull Cave. Is this it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, this is it. That's what I was looking for. Oh, I got to face slower, I think. Set that one in. Oh, we're just googling this one, yeah. Nice. Oh, my God. 
I can't remember which is the best weapon. This one's pretty good though. Bonus blocks, nice. It is multiple weapons on you. Take the fast, fast fighting, I think. Oh, didn't see that. Better than transport this is. Far more an interesting game than transport. Should have kept that first one. God, I wish those ones were bottom of the bug off. Should have kept that wide firing. Yeah, the wide firing is lovely in OP. Fast fire with Dandy. Ah. Losing it now. That, I think. Yeah, it is fantastic. It is a pretty cool game, isn't it? It was the first game that um, they used in the caravan tournaments as well, the NES version. Yeah, that's a good There's eight of those battleships uh, to kill.
Can't quite get them all. Oh, Andy. I can't get on the bottom now, can I? Oh no! Oh, I forgot to go, go forward with them. wide fire and keep it done you basically. I thought you could get down there and kill them then obviously not. to get that far, didn't it? Am I getting close to a battleship again? Jam, I reckon. It's an interesting sounding weapon. Look on scratch, hang on. What have I missed? It's been a din types, nice. I don't think I've ever seen it in an arcade back in the day, mind. Which is a little bit of a shame, really. Take a battleship? No. That's the one you want. Levels seem to get longer, do they? Is 
definitely the best fight we've come across. Pick up a weapon. I don't didn't want to do that. Green enemies that come across the top and go down, a bit like in the last game, isn't he? Um. Can get that bonus tile in, though. These levels are definitely getting longer. be a boss now. Pause one. Oh, it's that one. Well, I did two of the battleships out of eight. Especially a pretty damn long game. Uh, okay, let's try something else. Division uh, elevator action. Dragon Wang. Coolest name ever. It's a good name for a game. Um, you're off you, buddy. No worries. Cheers for jumping in. Appreciate it, as always. We have a good one as well. Take it. Uh, what is that? Um, what is that 3D game called? The Buck Rogers one. Zippy race. Dim on that one.
That's what it's missing. Yeah, it's this one. This is it. This is Buck Rogers, essentially. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Buck Rogers arcade game is a Sega game anyway. Just had the Buck Rogers license. Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this is a Buck Rogers game in the arcade. I'll teach you to try and get the ones on the side, don't I? Yeah, no worries, buddy. Take it. Should I get those F things for fuel? Stage 2 done. Konami GT. Ah, oh, I forgot about this bit. Ah, oh, it plays weird this bit does. the hell do I... The play's really odd. Place weird and floaty. So one more go. <laughs> Was this two years after the machine came out? Yeah, that bit plays weird. I couldn't quite turn around properly. Plays a bit like Frost or like um, Asteroids. trying to get a bit of fuel. Hey. I'm 
sure there's four levels to this. And then it repeats. Whatever. Oh, it's how fast they moved in. can shoot them things in. I'm not sure if they even collected that then. I feel he's getting a bit low though. Five button swaps room to this level as well, which doesn't help. Bollocks. It plays really, really odd. Down bit. <laughs> no, empty. Yep, don't like the top down bit. My system. Um. Yeah, the play's really strange. We got near then. Well, I played for ages. But even California games is class. I rate the mass system. One. I think it's the best version. Cyber Snowby, absolutely dreadful. Busy. Never really played them games. Um, trying to think of something to play. Maximum shooting new. Actually, darkness is pretty good. That last level is a pain in the ass, mind. You gotta try and find your way through it. Bit we didn't get out one this week on the uh, on the Mr. Arcade. Oh, Strike 2 is good. Psychic Worlds is good as well. The last one I was thinking of, the Nightmare last level. Uh, Shadow Dancer is actually a conversion of the arcade one, isn't it? That's quite good. Axe Kid Shinobi World. Ah, oh, last time I played that was a long time ago. <laughs> I was stuck in it, and right towards the end, I think it's when I first started streaming. It's mad the mass system actually got a conversion of the arcade one. Considering what it's on as well, it's actually a pretty nice conversion. Even if enemies do just appear on the screen, which is a bit of a nightmare. And they look like the Hulk.
Go on, Stabby. There were bombs on the arcade table, weren't they? Kill you. It looked alright today. I was watching Pang earlier on the Amiga, that's pretty nice. I was, I was watching something else. Super um, Space Invaders uh, Deluxe. Oh no, did I say Super Space Invaders? That looks pretty decent as well. I was saying at the back's a bad idea. Playability is a little bit janky, mind. Definitely a bit janky. Yeah, it looks a really nice port. Fair play, though. Like. Uh, Sonic Space Area, that's good. Strider 2, ugh. What a terrible game out of Strider 2. Travesty, that's what, I, that's what that game is. Love Wonder Boy Monster World. Um, so, okay. Uh, why is an axe kid in Shinobi World on you? Oh, actually, I had to see Sagaya. I'm gonna have to play this. It's such a, an amazing port of the arcade, considering. <laughs> I can't believe how bad reviews this actually got when it came out. It's done by Natsumi as well, I think it was Natsumi. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at Shadow Dance on there. Eh? Pretty nice arcade game, Shadow Dance. Eh? Even though the Mega Drive version is better. Good. Yeah, I was gonna look for Axe Kid, but uh, I've seen Sagaya. Tweak my fancy. Such an impressive version of the arcade. Yeah, I remember when this came out, it got review wise, it got caned. Those games. Shame the second game is not emulated properly in MIM. It works, but uh, some of the sounds are wrong. The, the explosion sounds are like crazy loud.
Bam, 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 bam. Oh, you're there, yeah? Oh, yeah, you said you were stored in one. Yeah, it's have a good game, you Amigo, good. I finished all then. I went through them all tonight when I was on that bit of a Terrican buzz. Amigo went to good. I do like Terrican games. That was only <coughs> sorry. Yeah, the Meg Drive version is better. It's easier as well on the Amiga. It's a little cut down, but it's, it's good as well, though, the Amiga one. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> bizarrely, it's not as colourful, which is a bit odd. Yeah, the, the, the Mega Drive one is, is the superior version. It's got better music as well, but... The Amiga one's no no slouch either, mind so. But the Mega Drive one is definitely harder. It's a lot harder than the Amiga one. The grappling on both of them though sucks, but can get used to it. it. It is a little bit easier to grapple on the Amiga one in some ways. <laughs> oh great, good dodging die. Shield for a while, either. The other ones I hit, those ones are twist like that. Get me every bloody time. Right, back down to crappy weapons. I thought that was going to fly off screen then, that's why I went for it. Right, I'm doing my laser back now, really, guy. There's a the, on uh, Tokyo Free on the Amiga. There's, there's one or two sections in the levels where there's a little bit extra to the level. Only in one or two places. Far from either, they make they're pretty much the same. Yeah, that's good. He uses two buttons. Oh, I didn't get that with the Amiga. What? It, it could have used two buttons, so why, why the hell didn't it do it on a lot of games? Hmm. 
You do get used to the grappling on the Amiga one as well. The swinging mechanic. It does actually work. Once you get the hang of it, it does actually work pretty decent. Just wait to open his mouth. Yeah, the MSX could do multiple buttons as well. That's a computer I really like. I've learned to appreciate the MSX. I'm interested in that MSX3. Is on about releasing? Thinking about maybe picking it up. Possibly. It's the original um, ASCII as well, then. Apparently, doing um, they did a like a talk about it in, in Japan, and they're doing one at the end of the month, I think, in in Spain. But they're going to do it in English. <laughs> Mad they're actually making a new MSX. <laughs> oh my God, I got ruined then on Shield. The music is perfectly recognizable. I don't know how much this MSX3 is going to be. Oh, you're following as well, you? Yeah, me. I don't know a huge amount about him, about him to be honest, like. I'm not sure how much they've, they've told about it, but... Yeah, it could be interesting. Oh, it was big in Spain, was it? Right, okay. Ah, right. I don't know. I don't I don't know anyone. I know somebody used to have one, but I don't know anyone back in the day that had one, if you know what I mean. Oh, the MSX is pretty good. Alright. It wasn't particularly the greatest thing when it came to scrolling, but it's it's full of fantastic games. It's amazing how many uh, good games are actually on the MSX. Konami did some absolutely fantastic games on the MSX. And because because the scrolling is constant, if you know what I mean, it's constant the way it jerks. It's, it's the same every time. You do sort of get used to it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how much it's actually going to be. I need to look into it a little bit more, like, and see what... I know the guy's done some modules and stuff he's put together, isn't he? I think it's on the 31st this month. They're going to do that talk in English in Spain. Probably find out a lot more about it then. I don't... I, I don't know. I'm not sure if it is FPGA. From, from what I've... From what I've read about it, and from what I pick up of him doing modules and things like that, I, I don't think it is. 
it's backwards compatible with everything else on the MSX, apparently. I was wondering whether it's going to be like based on an FPGA, which so, sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Basically, like you know, design the thing in, F in an FPGA and just use that. But I don't know; it, it didn't look like it was. Like I said, I, I don't really know much about it, so I'm not going to grab any more red power ups. I don't think. It actually looks like they are actually in these proper hardware, like, if you know what I mean. But, like I said, I'm going to have to wait till the end of the month, I think, really, to figure out exactly what they're um, planning. Alright, you mean FPGA MSX3? Um, I don't know. Not as far as I know, it didn't. I could be wrong, mind. Yeah, I, I, I'd like an MSX2 as well. Yeah. I, I would like to have it. I missed out on one. I could have bought an MSX... I'm not sure. It might have been MSX1 or 2, I don't know, with uh, all the flash cards and stuff in DD with the extra sound chips and stuff for uh, about 200 quid about three years ago. It was like the complete setup. I was tempted. Oh, because they did the MSX2, didn't they? And the last revision of the MSX was the Turbo R. I was like quite powerful actually compared to the normal ones but apparently msx3 is going to be backwards compatible with all that yeah a nice msx setup would be quite funky you'd have to have for me though it would have to have the flash carts and stuff and the scc sound chip otherwise i suppose i stick with the the FPGA version on the Mister, which is very good actually. The only game I can't get to run is that um, Tina's Adventure Island. I just can't get it to work. reason it just doesn't work it had the mr has spoiled us to be honest the mr's rendition of the um, msx is pretty amazing Mr. has spoiled us quite a bit. In a lot of ways, with the Mr., there is no point getting an MSX. <laughs> just because the Mr. version is just way easier. It's not quite the same as the original, I suppose, as it having a, you know, have, actually having an MSX, but. Dun, 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 dun. It's going to bounce off? No.
Yeah, I got a gold shield. Give us some more green power ups now. You seen some of those MX MSX like cases you can get for the Mister? They're pretty sweet. They've got the built-in keyboard and stuff. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's right, that is. That's right, I'm hoping in lots of ways that it is actually just proper hardware. It looks like it is, because he's, he's making, like, um, add-on boards and things like that. Last time I looked, so it, it looks like proper hardware. Like the Spectrum Next is interesting. It, it's just a shame that nothing, nothing really great has come out with it. There's only two games, you know, two, you know, decent high quality games, aren't they? So I shoot my war, Warframe and, um, not Warframe, uh, War something, and Warhawk and uh, the platform game, which is, the platform game is good, it's just that one level you go to stealth in is really shit. They're the two best games, aren't they, basically? I've got loads of games on the FPGA code I've got, and the image I've got. But, yeah, unfortunately the, uh, the majority of stuff has come out for it is pretty, pretty poor. And you don't know anything about it anymore, either, do you? I was playing on one of the show. Looks quite well made, to be honest. I was looking at it and picking it up, and then it does look like a you know a nice, well-made bit of kit. Yeah, they are fun, aren't they? Warhawk is actually not a bad little shmup. Not going to win any awards, but it's a pretty decent shmup. It's got a bit of challenge to it as well. It's got like 20 levels. I guess in space, I might have quickly played. There's a motorbike game on here that looks a little bit like Hang On. Can't remember the name of it. That actually looks good. But it's a 20, 15, 20 quid game. So I bought Warhawk and, and the Power whatever game, Power something. I actually bought them and added it to my um, Mystical. Ah. 
Just about to get a shield as well. Now I'm in trouble, aren't I? That's quite nice. Don't know what power up that was then, but yeah, I wouldn't mind the Hang On game. Does look good, but uh, I don't want to pay the money for it. Yeah, the case is really nice. Yeah, that's right, that is, yeah. No, you're right, that is. That's probably why um, there's not that many games on it. It's a shame they couldn't have marketed it like a Raspberry Pi type of thing. You know, to younger audiences. It's like, uh, you know, it all could be used for programming and things like that. It's a shame that they, they're incredibly hard to get hold of as well. I don't think that's helped much. They only did, only did two runs of it, I think, weren't they? Well, that don't help either because uh, why would you if you were if you're gonna put games on in sell them why would you bother coding for that when there's only a very small install base when you could code and stuff to check something on Steam? I think people were gagging to buy them as well, like so they they could have they could have definitely sold way more than they did. Is this some big bosses in this as well, aren't they? even though they're, they're probably background tiles. It's probably how it works, but... Um You can get these clone ones though, is it? I don't know why. Yeah, it's a shame they only did two runs. Yeah, I didn't know there was clone boards available. Levels probably uh, with the clouds is probably a little bit ambitious for the uh, the mass system. To be honest, <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, you got the mystical as well. Which seems pretty perfect, to be honest, the mystical. Yeah, I still wouldn't mind playing that um, motorbike racing game. I can't remember what it's called, though. I'd have to buy it if I want to play it, that's the only problem. Like I did with uh, Warhawk. I did pick up that um, Moon Dance after for the Switch. Pre order for it. It's a nice game on PC, though. It's a Switch version. It looks really nice. Well, if I haven't got any power ups, didn't have enough firepower to kill off again. Just really not going to go well if I ain't got power ups. Oh great, he had to come up from the bottom right there. <laughs> Losing my uh, power-ups and everything, right, right at the beginning of the level is bad. I can't kill him. I'm gonna fail this as well. Damn. That's my own fault then. Give me a shield or a power up or something. Oh, that was close. Shield though. I'm giving me one shield so far on this level. Like it still is it? Yeah, it does look pretty nice. I think it's like 20 quid to buy, 19 pounds something. Ah, they all flew off at once then. Damn. What is you? I'm going to fire probably to get him. Oh, great, and he moves over there. Ah, uh, did try. Yeah, that's the only game I wouldn't mind trying on it. I don't think the demo, I don't know if there is a demo of it, actually. If I go to, um... Specky next. Yeah. Don't give you any shields on that level. Very limited power ups. Why is the Spectrum X doing that? Ah, 
That's weird. Why is my Spectrum Next core not working? Boot tip. Maybe it's that. Ooh, weird. It's weird, isn't it? Used to work as cool. Oh, you got something on the screen. I haven't got anything. TB blue. I can't see anything on my screen. Uh, so I need to press the key. Yeah. We go over the stream now. Nah. I have to, I haven't actually tried it on the cab. Two runs of fifty hertz probably doesn't help. It used to work. Half RGB is it? Not supported. It's just a weird support of resolution. So what have I actually got to press? It's not doing anything, is it? We are doing it from the, uh... Oh, hang on. I'm a little bit delayed, mind. I want to say a little bit, very delayed. Yeah, man, come on, change so I can see what I'm doing. I know, yeah. Come on. Do something. Come on. I think I've got like about a 10 second delay. If I do boot again. Right, that comes up now. I can see it. I just press A. If I do mode selection, press A, digital, VGA. Hmm, weird. Hang on. Left down up. XYZ. Start. Oop. Keep us not working. Oh, it's not working. I work so. Um, so it's the VHD. I wanna, I wanna set that one up. Can I save setup? Let's do a soft reset. Uh, press R. Maybe it's not liking this keyboard. Yep, don't like the keyboard. Hmm, this used to work.
Show that boot. Tubal firmware file. Okay. Anyone else I can uh, normal scale. Defi used to work. Maybe something's changed on the core. This is not recognizing uh, my keyboard for some reason. I reckon the uh, pad. Keyboard, I think. Really? Used to work with this keyboard. Hmm, I'll have to have a look at that. Figure out what's going on. Maybe I need a different... Because I've got a VHD for it. Hang on a minute. I've got a VHD for it. That's got to be the VHD. It's got loads of stuff on it as well. And I added Warhawk and everything into it. Oh, maybe I just need to plug in the keyboard. Ooh. Change it to seven. I think it's time to shoot off anyway, to be honest. Yeah, it's a shame that's not work. I'll have to, I'll have to plug a normal keyboard into it. Does, it doesn't like this little wireless keyboard by the look of it. Which is quite strange, because it was working. Yeah, it's definitely working the wireless keyboard, so... Oh well, I'll have to have a look at that and see what's going on. It's that image I got, it's got loads of games on it. Loads of stuff I put on there, as well. And some of the ones I bought. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, same year as well, to be honest. Uh, time for me to go as well. Anyway, guys, that was fun. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll probably have a go with that X Zodiac on the PC tomorrow. I haven't actually had a chance to play that properly yet, so uh, maybe we'll uh, have a play through that tomorrow. That'll be fun. Anyway. I was fun tonight, the guys. Anyway, cheers, John Cena, if you're hanging around, and uh, the other guys in the stream. Uh, it's been fun as always, and uh, I shall catch you guys tomorrow. Take it, night, night, all that type of stuff. And I'll uh, catch you all tomorrow. Hmm. I think I'll have to get out. I remember before I used to use a wired keyboard. So I'll have to find a white keyboard. Go on flying the window somewhere. Right. Anyway, let's catch you guys again. Ta-da. See you tomorrow.